Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Nine of Blades there. You've got the Page of Blades. Uh, and the Queen of Cups. And the High Priestess over here. So, uh, it seems like you're in some kind of... You were offered some kind of position of leadership, or you are in a position of leadership over there. You're taking control of that situation, or um, you know you've been offered some kind of job where you are in a kind of a leadership position. You certainly are managing people and resources with this emperor card there. You've got the high priestess. It looks like you have been uh, involved in some kind of study as well. Um, you know, maybe spending a lot of time by yourself. Um, as well, uh, doing a lot of research. It seems that, you know, working very, very independently of everybody else. Maybe this job that you're doing calls for your independence. You've got this cat and this fox there. Now, the fox talks about using your cunning, using your intellect, using your skills in whatever job you're doing. And that cat implies that, you know, you are very, very independent. You are, you're following, um, you know, your, um, your own knowledge quite carefully and there's a book open over here so it looks like there's been a lot of studying and learning and she's got a magnifying glass in her hand so you've been looking at things very very carefully uh you're somebody that doesn't leave any stone unturned so you're very very um detailed in whatever it is you're doing whatever's going on around you you're feeling very very unsupported at the moment with that queen of cups which is not the case really it seems like you're you might be upset about something or feeling a bit lonely feeling as though you know you've been abandoned in a sense with that queen of cups feeling a little bit emotionally overwhelmed now you might be dealing with somebody that is giving you a little bit of grief over there and they're stressing you out because you've got the nine of blades next to this page of uh, blades so there might be somebody in your uh, vicinity who's acting very childishly or behaving childishly uh, stirring up a lot of problems on the other hand you know whatever this job is that you're doing you might be because it's the page of blades it's about doing a lot of research and having to do a lot of um, you know in-depth work whatever you're doing seems to be very very scientific as well and whatever this job is you know whatever you're working on at the moment it's causing a lot of uh, distress for you you're working to some kind of deadline not getting enough sleep uh, very anxious about the outcome of about whatever is happening over there almost expecting the worst case scenario in whatever it is you're doing at the moment so very very stressed very very anxious at the moment you've got the four of wands over here and the eight of wands now the four of wands is uh, you know a success so doors opening opportunities coming your way and this is the card of celebration it's the marriage card there might be a new contract that comes your way certainly uh, this is uh, the card that is the 11 11 card which opens up doorways new pathways uh, new um, you know chances coming in for you and me meeting a lot of people a lot of social socializing a lot of networking working going on and a lot of success in whatever it is you're doing with that eight of wands it's showing that you're going to be receiving news you might even be moving home you can see this woman's house is being sold over here and she's getting a mail uh, um, a message from the postman over there so things moving pretty much you're starting something brand new for the future over there and you're going to receive news about it as well you might actually even move um, overseas so this could be overseas travel and you know with the four of wands it's also uh, a card of travel so you might be setting up home somewhere else you might be thinking of starting a new job on the overseas front and it seems like whatever you've been working towards is coming through for you <coughs> In the past, uh, recent past, everything has seemed uh, a little bit at a, a standstill. You can see there's a barrier over here. So things have been blocked for you and you have been very frustrated. Uh, you can see this man is, almost seems as though he's lost all his hair because he's so worried about you know not moving forward. So things have been pretty much stuck uh, for you and you've been waiting very, very patiently and it's been very, very frustrating. You've got this page of cups over here. So it seems like an offer has come in for you and you have been considering taking this offer and moving on. And it might even be that you have to relocate to do it with the page of cups. It could even be an offer for further study or training. You certainly have uh, uh, starting afresh on your mind. You've got the full card over there and making a brand new start, a fresh start somewhere else. And maybe even building a home somewhere else. You can see he's in construction building this house. And it's the full card. It's the beginning of something brand new. And it looks like messages are coming in or you're waiting for this message to come in. It looks like it's going to come in as well because you've got that eight of wands which brings in messages with the postman. And, you know, setting up home somewhere else and travel probably somewhere else. So you are certainly on the move soon. The Ten of Blades, it looks like whatever situation you have been in has been really frustrating for you. And there seems to have been a lot of nastiness, a lot of conflict, uh, you know, people taking advantage of you uh, and, you know, backstabbing going on around. You seem to have had your back against the wall as well. And everybody seems to have turned on you as well. So you are feeling very, very disempowered. Uh, and maybe there's a little... Um, um, loss of confidence as well over there but this is now finished this situation is over and done with and you're about to move on
You've got the two of wands. There's this choice about whether to go or whether to stay. So you are considering leaving and you're making plans to travel, it seems. So there's some world travel coming in over there. And whatever it is you're going to be doing, uh, you know, you're going to be able to exhibit your um, your own creativity. You're going to be able to bang your own drum. So in other words, you're going to be able to work independently and people are going to take note of it. So uh, you are at this point where you are at a crossroads in your life about whether to stay in this position, but it doesn't seem to be a very, very nice position to be in because there's a lot of stress and strain there. Um, and it looks like you're making plans to move on. Whatever it is you're doing, uh, you know, it's very scientifically science science based it could be something to do with the law because you've got this queen of blades but you're very determined to succeed so this is very important for you to keep that determination going and like i said it's something scientific uh something very logical that you're working with it could be with computers it could be some further training or further studying or you could be taking on the role as a teacher or a leader it could be in industry at the moment so uh, you're working very very hard at it and making plans for the future there so leaving behind this and starting something afresh somewhere else. Uh, you're a bit worried that, uh, you know, when you get into this new position, there's going to be uh, just as much conflict or people are not going to be supportive. And this is in your hopes and fears. Uh, so you are afraid uh, you're going to meet the same kind of uh, nastiness wherever you go to. But I don't think it's going to be the same way. Their cards are not indicating that, you know, you're going to be dealing with difficult people. It just shows that, you know, it's time for you to move on, time for you to end all of this, you know, put it to rest and move on to something brand new if that opportunity presents itself. And it's going to be really good. And like I said, it might be something overseas. You've got that Knight of Coins, the Ace of Coins, and the Ten of Coins. So whatever you're working on, there's a new job coming in for you over there. Uh, it's going to take a lot of hard work, maybe initially not paying you as well as you'd like, but it's suddenly going to be bringing in the coin. And you've got another cat over here. So this is about working independently. The knight is not quite the king. Uh, so you are still not working. Uh, you know, you're not completely in charge. You're still working for somebody. But there's a lot more freedom and a lot more independence. And it's going to start bringing in the money. You can see again the wallet starting to fill up with coins. And whatever you're doing, you're starting working up. And you're going to be able to build foundations with it. And it's going to be, you know... Um, opening pathways, opening doorways for you, and you're going to be able to lay foundations and progress in this particular career. Um, you've got the Ten of Wands, so it's going to be a lot of hard work. There's going to be a lot of deadlines and a lot of stress maybe coming in from that job. Um, maybe at times you are going to feel a little bit overwhelmed and a little stressed. Uh, you need to have a plan in place to be organized. That is very, very important. And also trust in yourself. And if there is, it's a position of leadership, then you need to delegate uh, and get people to help you out. Uh, you can't carry these burdens by yourself. You do need to collaborate in order for you to make your burdens um, better. So a new brand new start coming in for you there. Uh, you must stay determined. This is waiting possibly for even contracts to be signed. But yeah, like I said, it's something scientific that you're doing or something that's very logically based logically based so something where you're using your head quite a bit. Um, and this old situation is now about to finish. Uh, all the stress from this situation is finishing and you're going to be moving on to something else. And it might, uh, you know, give you a lot more freedom. Now, I'm going to draw some cards from the Fairy Tarot. So there again, you are at a crossroads in your life. You've got the Judgment card, which is the Renewal card over here. So it says, review the past and the present so you can plan a bright new future, understanding your life's purpose and releasing judgments of yourself and others. So the, the Judgment card or the Renewal card is being given a second chance and an opportunity to do something that you didn't finish or complete and uh, being at the crossroads in your life. But having all the information available to you now so that you can make a very informed decision. So you are changing course at the moment or you're changing direction at the moment. You've got the Nine of Spring over here. Protect your, the fruits of your uh, labors. Prepare for possible challenges uh, that... Um, lie ahead. So this is the nine of rods and together with that ten of rods there's still going to be challenges that come your way. Don't let it overwhelm you. Like I said you need a strategy, you need a plan uh, in order for you to cope with whatever's going on. You will be able to because the card that immediately follows it is the nine of summer which is the um, nine of cups. Wishes come true dreams fulfilled and a magical time in life. So if you just hang in there just a little longer it looks like all your wishes and dreams are going to be fulfilled. So don't give up um, and, you know, make that decision. You are being called to make a decision so that you can get all your dreams and wishes fulfilled. And somebody's going to be there to help you fulfill these dreams and wishes. So a new 
po a pathway opening up uh, as far as the job front goes, uh, a new, um, maybe you're changing even the way you live, a new standard of living coming in for you, uh, and certainly money is coming in for you, but you're going to just have to hang in there, um, and even though there might be hurdles for you to overcome, you will be able to overcome it. Um, just make sure that you know you get advice, get some help, and don't get overwhelmed, have a plan in place. So I hope that this reading has resonated you, with you and I wish you all the best for the new year and thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments. Uh, take care now. Goodbye.